Howdy folks, it's Mardi Gras here in the Northwest, not that that means much, but I thought I would mark the occasion by uh, dressing up a little bit. Got my Mardi Gras beads on, I've earned every strand through a long life of hard living. Uh, what inspired this uh, video, however, is a comment made by a right-wing gun enthusiast on a YouTube video in which he equated working for the common good, or the value of the common good, with socialism. And I, and I actually think he was being uh, polite. What he really meant was communism. And I know this may come as a surprise to you all, but uh, communism and socialism are not the same thing. Stalin uh, killed as many socialists as uh, he did uh, aristocrats. He didn't like them either. <laughs> <laughs> if working for the common good is a socialist idea, where does that leave the military and the people who serve in it? Those people are not out in the dark and dangerous places of the world uh, trying to make a fortune for themselves. They are out there sacrificing their youth their, and soften their very lives, their health, uh, to protect the country to and protect the greater good, to advance the interests of the country. Where does that kind of an idea that, that working for the common good uh, equals socialism, where does that leave sports? We just got done with the Super Bowl. <laughs> uh, football isn't played by single people. Sure, it has its heroes, but there's no single man that can win a football game. Everybody on the team gives, plays his part in an overall plan to advance the interests of the team. There are, there are stars, there are people that make big plays, but those plays wouldn't happen if it wasn't for all the little people that were doing the blocking, the center, you know, even the guy back in the, back in the uh, locker room who's uh, taping people up and, and getting them ready for the next game. <laughs> if it was up to this right winger, I guess the real American sports would have to be something like tennis or golf or maybe even bowling. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. The struggle of the Cold War and all the propaganda that was pumped out by both sides has deeply scarred the psyche of the American people. The right wing would have you believe that any effort that is community-based, that is communal, the goals of which are to better the lives of everyone, is somehow an evil, communist, socialist plot. They will have you believe that the only things that matter are the achievements of and successes of individual people struggling valiantly into the future. I would just point out, no single man has or ever will get to the moon all on his own. Yet, men have gone to the moon. They went there as a, uh, a product of a government program using the combined efforts of thousands, the efforts and intelligence of thousands of people The great achievements of mankind are community achievements. They are not individual achievements. No single man built the pyramids. No single man can or will build the pyramids. The situation is made worse because we have the uh, rantings of a sociopathic drug addict, and I'm speaking of Ayn Rand here, um, she published a bunch of books and was able to wrap this whole idea up that uh, everything in the world worth doing was done by individual people all by themselves in a patina of philosophical respectability. I would point out that it is a scientific fact that as many as 4% of the people in the world are physically incapable of feeling empathy, 
They are incapable of understanding the emotions of others. To these people, the suffering of others is completely meaningless. Some of the people with this condition become serial killers. And other people, remarkably enough, become CEOs, bank presidents, and get themselves elected to Congress. Just because somebody wrote a book doesn't mean they were sane. It doesn't mean they were a complete human being. And Ayn Rand was neither. The truly mind-bending, headache-producing twisting of this whole uh, series of beliefs is that I would venture to say that the majority of people who subscribe to it also call themselves Christians. The guy who made the original comment on the YouTube video definitely described himself as a Christian. Though how he makes these two philosophies uh, sleep together in the same bed is really beyond me. If working for the greater good is some kind of socialist plot, some kind of uh, you know subversive activity, where does that leave old Jesus Christ himself? I mean, going around healing people for free, feeding people for nothing just because they showed up to see one of his speeches, everybody gets a free meal. You know, if, if these two ideas are really going to ever work, the conservatives are going to have to throw one or the other of them overboard. They're going to have to either be Christians or they're going to have to just admit that Christ was just another community organizing left-wing socialist Jew boy and forget about it. The Cold War is over. It's time to let it lie. It's time to get over all this nonsense and recognize that uh, the truth lies somewhere between uh, complete anarchy and complete totalitarianism. Somewhere in the middle there is a sensible way to live that has some government regulation and plenty of room for people to pursue and achieve their dreams. Personally, I don't think an individual human life really amounts to much. The value of human life comes largely from the association you have with other people. You are valuable because you're somebody's father, somebody's wife, somebody's brother, you're the member of a community, you, you work to help the bigger uh, picture get better, you, you work for the common good, you work for goals that transcend your short, petty little existence and take on uh, a patina of more, you know, they, they take on the energy of immortality. That's where the true value of human life comes. So the next time some little sociopathic, stunted little half-human starts screaming at you about how uh, it's all about individual this and individual that, me, 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 and my, my, mine, 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 tell them to shut the fuck up. At least that's my opinion. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.